Okay, so this program will show you how to use various methods to create a random password. Um, so we'll start in main and just do string result equals make password and then eight digit long password. And we can print that out right here. So what is the make password method? We'll do that right here. Okay, so public, uh, Oh, actually, we need this all in the same class. And we'll do public static string string make password int length. Okay. And string password equals an empty string. Okay, and we're just going to pick some random letters from um, the string that we're given. So for int i equals zero, well, i is less than length minus two, increase that by one. And password equals password plus random character. And let's just do the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, L, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, so you pass an int of how long you want a password to be and make a password string. And for how long you said the password will be up until that point, it will create a random, uh, it will generate a random password for you. So now we have a new function, a new method that we called. So we can go and make that. That will be public static string random character string characters. Okay, and int n equals characters dot length. Int r equals, and then typecast int n times math dot random return characters dot substring r r plus one okay so you called random character within make password right and basically uh, now you created a number of how long the string is and then r just changes um just chooses a random uh number and then it returns the substring of whatever that position is so you call this and it'll just return a random character within this string okay now now that we have this method done we can finish up main password so let's do this. This is for just letters, but we can also do numbers and symbols in a password. So string random digit equals random character. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And password equals insert at random. Password random digit. Okay, so now we have a new method here we need to create. Insert at random. Public static string insert at random. String str string to insert. Okay. So basically you have um, the string and then the character that you want to insert. Okay, the random digit. Now for this method, we'll do int n equals string dot length. So it's kind of like this first line. And then int r equals int n plus one times math dot random. And then we'll return um, the substring zero r plus two insert plus 
str dot substring r. Okay. Now we've got that made. We can finally finish this up. So let's also do this for characters. String random character equals like plus minus star dash or slash question mark exclamation mark and pound dollar sign Okay, so those are some random digits you can use, or symbols. I'll just do a random symbol. Okay, now we need to return password. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Error, random symbol. Oh, that's what I wanted. Random symbol. Okay. Great. So it looks like it's working. Now you can call this with any any number that you want. So if you need a ten digit password, okay. Alright, looks pretty good.